We have no mint? No, we have no mint. Oh. Mesa, can you add Correct. some imaginary mint? Clip art. Clip art mint. Lord knows we drink more of them without mint than we do with. That's true. Welcome to another episode of Bitches, Bitches in, in the, the Kitchen. Kitchen. I'm Janet. I'm Chris. We're going to we drink today. I know. It's really shocker. Shock. <laughs> no, we're going to give a demonstration. How's that sound? Well, yeah, because it's mule season. It really isn't Actually, mule season. It's not. It's always It's mule really season. not mule season because what I started to think while driving here is it's now the hard seltzer season because that's the new craze. Yeah, but we're old school and we're always a little bit behind. All right, where do you want to start? It's all on your side, all sweetheart. The, that's true. I have all the booze and all of the glasses. The yeah. funny thing is, is that mules started, well, for us anyway, with bourbon. It was straight up bourbon and ginger beer. And we got so excited. We were introduced to ginger beer. It was called a Kentucky mule. And we felt that's what really fell in love. So let's make one of those. Okay. Make one each. We got three glasses. Make them, make them weak. Little. Two ice cubes. Okay. So what's, what's the trick? Is there a trick? Yes. You're muddling the mint. Yes. We're putting the mint in there right now. Yeah. Stirring that in because the mint makes everything. This is Elijah Craig. And this, out of many of the bourbons that we have tried, this one, price point, fabulous, and a delicious mixer. This is the bourbon of choice for a mule. We're making itty bitty ones. Production is saying, whoa, girly, slow down. We got lots to do. Oh, oh we we're going to leave this ginger out? ginger beers that Janet brought. This is a fufu ginger beer that's highly overpriced, but wonderful. Yes. And this one's called Krabby's. Krabby's. Now the difference with Krabby's is most of the Krabby's are alcohol ginger beer. Most ginger beer that you buy, like the Gosling, which is really popular in the bars and the, whatever the little blue cans are, they are all non-alcoholic. So just depends on how, as Janet always says, booze forward, you would like your drink. Well, actually it. this for a six pack is what? Maybe seven, seven eight bucks. bucks. Yeah. And then this for a four pack is six. It's called Fever Tree. It's really good because it's spicy. I don't remember having this one by itself. I'm going to get lipstick on it. It's okay. I already did. You're not going to get lipstick. Your lips don't touch anything. <laughs> it's just overpriced organic and non-alcoholic so this came from walmart yes so that's it that's all there is cheers um, cheers that's all there is to a mule really is mint and an alcohol and a ginger back in the winter months that's when they really started becoming quite popular um lots of restaurants serve them, serve them as flights and then we're gonna make you some others they, they serve as flights yeah we should get a passport mm. Delicious. That one's good. Moving on, because we have lots. Okay, so the next one then is called the Moscow Mule. Gee, where do you think that one's from? Same basic thing, mint. Why are we smacking the mint? Tell them. Because you break up in the aromas, like you get the pores going. My mint doesn't have pores. Yes, it does. It releases the aroma. We have these adorable little silver mugs, because that's the other key thing. We didn't talk about that. They serve mules in copper mugs. Typically. Uh, All restaurants uh, serve them. Mine back. And have a drink. Okay. If you insist. Mm. This came from our friends. This one. Yeah. <laughs> My little bitty cup. It's like. I know. How do you tote this to a party, Mike? Yeah. You say. <laughs> How does this go in the travel bag? I just need to know. <laughs> Elijah Craig, I said price point is legit for mixing. Correct. Okay. Belvedere is not. Elijah's actually not a bad sipper, but that's not your first choice for sipper. Not when I have Belvedere, other options. Belvedere, for me anyway, is never a mixer. But all I had was flavored vodka. She, so gave, she went to all that trouble to tell I you, brought, just make Tito's. Just put Tito's or some cheaper vodka to make whoa, the, that the, was, the mule. Very heavy. If you can see production. <laughs> Wowza. Hang tight now. Hang on, folks. He's like, please don't drink that. And ginger. Again. Okay, I'm, so... What? I just wanted to enjoy it before we fucked it up with ginger. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was the protocol. I guess we'll use this, this fancy little spectacular ginger beer. We've never this tried was this a one. wild card. Spectacular. Huge spectacular ginger, ginger beer. beer. Brooklyn, it? New York. It's also Ooh, organic. Oh, I can smell the chili peppers. Non-GMO. Now, wait, read that because this one had all sorts of weird things in it. Yeah, Here, you read. can't see. Okay. I can't read it without them. Chili pepper, coriander, cardamom, lime, and orange. That's good That's stuff, man. That's non-GMO ingredients. No one gives a shit about I that. I do. Why? 
I don't know, because it makes me feel better. <laughs> it's a kitschy As buzzword. As I pollute my body with the alcohol. It's a kitschy buzzword. As long buzzword. as it's with non-GMO ingredients, okay. it makes me better. It's really smooth. I don't taste any of the spice at all. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you. This one's spicier. Well, now spicier. you're just mixing and matching like a freaking garana. I think this one was spicier. You know what? I think that's flat. That tastes flat to me. Am I Im imagining it? I don't know that flat's the right answer, but... It's underwhelming. I'm disappointed. Well, I'm not disappointed in the drink here. I'm disappointed in, in the glass. So this, what, to me, tastes fine. So what happened? I don't know. Maybe the Belvedere's too good. <laughs> okay, so that's a maybe. All right. Which is so, kind of a shame because the Moscow is a really good choice. When I drink a vodka mule, I don't worry. Don't worry. Shut up. Are you making fun of something? Nope, I'm not. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Thank you. Put some in mine if you don't mind because I'm getting the ice. Thank you. Well, I kind of cups. love these because yeah. they just feel good. If you need a collection, you can go to TJ Maxx. They always have these little cups on sale. So then the next one we discovered, That's this fine. one is called the Mexican Mule. The Mexican Mule, as you might guess, is what? Really? Da, 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 really? Da, 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 da. Tequila! Yeah. You may recognize this from one of our other episodes, the trip to Florida. Same basic principle. Yeah. You mix, you uh, muddle the mint, you add a tequila. All right, and mix. then you're gonna mix it with a ginger beer. This time, we're going to use the Krabbies. Krabbies. Again, the Krabbies is an alcohol ginger beer. Careful! So you wanna be a little careful if you're gonna make this one. Finish the can. That one has a really different taste too. Good or bad? <laughs> Tastes like ginger ale now. Can't taste the alcohol in it. I can't taste the alcohol in that at all. All right, so from a fan favorite standpoint, is it the Krabby's, uh, this one, or the Fever Tree? Because I, I can tell you right now which one I would me, choose. For me, I think it was this. And, Highly, absolutely. But this is not a habit I really want to get into. Well, I know. That's, see, that's the thing. If you're going to make top shelf alcohol, why would you not do Why? Well, why is there so much in this? Da -da 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 and ginger. I mean, and ginger beer. So that's three mules so far all around the world. That's very boozy. Yeah, don't that say. Was the most boo that was the booziest of all of them. How'd we do no, that? No, I put just a itty I know, bitty bit. I know, but this was, this was really talking. What did it say? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Bigger than the Belvedere? Yeah. All right, okay. one last one. Thank you. This one is called a dark and stormy, and the dark and stormy is made with a spiced rum. So you got the spiced rum, spiced dark rum, with the spiced ginger. So it's a pretty spicy drink. <laughs> Just gonna say that. Just in case you. Just in case you didn't get. Didn't catch that. That. And for this one, we're using Sailor Jerry. I don't even know where this came from, how this ended up in my bar. This is my least favorite. I am not a big okay. fan of spiced rum, typically. By the way. PSA, we do not advocate mixing alcohol like we are this <laughs> evening. This, this is not for the faint at heart. Although this, we are, what, two sips of each? So it's a non-issue. Except for the fact that each one of these still have a whole bunch our, of our, our livers are, are, are primed for this. So two sips were good, but you're correct. We're not throwing them away, but That's that'll it. be later. Add the thing, let's taste it. The thing? The, the yeah. I had a dark and stormy in Antigua. I've had a dark and stormy too, but mm. it's just not my favorite. I don't even like the smell of it. It's not terrible, but... It's not terrible, it's just, it's on not my favorite. scale of one to how many did we have? Uh, four. four. Bring all that over here so okay. we can talk about it. I'm gonna tell everybody what we did. Are, you, are, are they going Hebrew? We're going in order? What Bam. the hell does that mean? Right to left or left to right? No, no, just put them in the picture so we can talk about them. So the very first mule that we made, and I believe the very first mule that was made, yes, when they first created mules, is the Kentucky mule. That's the one that you make with bourbon and a ginger. That's this guy. We used uh, this one that we liked a whole bunch, the Fever Tree, but you can use any. We've used Gosling mostly to make. What's that blue one that we decide we don't like? I don't remember. It's a little blue can. It's like a sky blue. I don't it's remember what so it is. so sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. way too sweet. Not yucky. All right, so then this is the bourbon, which is called the Kentucky. Next, we tried the ridiculous uh, Moscow, Moscow mule, which is the vodka, same content, which is the uh, ginger and the mint. Third, we tried the Mexican mule, which is the tequila, the mint, and the ginger, and then last but not least, what's called the dark and stormy, which is also served in a meal cup, and that's a spiced rum with the ginger, 
same mint. The moral of the story is... Pick one. Anything goes with <laughs> ginger beer. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Probably mix just about anything with it and make your own. We yeah, just went we around really the world have. with you guys today and... Uh, Try yeah. something. Try something. Try and something. Buy Pick some your mule, favorite. Buy some mule glasses. Pick your... Can I get this out of the way so I don't knock it over? Yeah. Which one are we clinking with? This one. What's that one? The very first one this we one. made. Okay. The original traditionalists, because we're old school. Good night, Thanks. Gracie. Go have a mule. Why do I feel like this is looking right at me tonight? It does seem like Doesn't it? Does. Like, it's like right here. Isn't that better? Like, 